the Department of Agriculture and Food, based in Albany, and I'm working in the western areas of the Agronomy Jigsaw Project. Soil acidification is a naturally occurring process, but is greatly accelerated in productive agriculture. Removal of the so-called basic cations from product export in grey, grain, hay and livestock, nitrate leaching below the root zone and ammonium-based nitrogen fertilisers all contribute to soil acidification. Areas with high production are prone to rapid acidification as well as areas with restricted root growth or low water holding capacity. While soil acidity can reduce yields, the symptoms are not easily seen. Trial work shows yield penalties and that there are profitable responses to liming when surface and subsurface pH levels fall below target levels. However, prevention is better than cure when it comes to soil acidity because it takes several years to fix subsoils when pH declines below the target level of 4.8. The amount of lime required to neutralise soil acidity is a combination of the current pH, the target pH, the depth of soil needing the lime and the buffering capacity of the soil. This means that the amount of lime needed to fix acidity varies within a paddock because the initial pH, the productivity, the leaching potential and buffering capacity vary across the paddock. In Western Australia one of the main indicators of pH buffering capacity is soil organic carbon content. In a study paddock at Wooginil up 60 kilometres north from Albany, lime requirement varies from none to one and a half tonnes a hectare. On a low yielding, shallow, leaching sand over hard iron stone with about 1.2% organic carbon in the surface, no limes required. The whole paddock was limed a few years ago with a blanket rate that raised pH on the shallow sand area to 5.6. In the same paddock, on a duplex loamy gravel over clay with a surface organic carbon of 2.3%, one and a half tonnes of lime is needed, assuming 70% neutralising value of the lime. The previous blanket application was not enough on the loamy gravel which is still below the target surface pH of 5.5. This site is currently 4.8 at the surface and 4.7 in the subsurface. The loamy gravel area has a history of much higher yields than the shallow sand. In the next part of this talk we'll explore the possibility of varying lime rates within a paddock to better target lime to where it's required.